Hello, Sim friends, and it is that time again for new architect homes. We have 11 in this round, so this may be quite a quite a long, you know, quite a long review, but I will try to make it as short as I can. No guarantees, and I'm going to tell you that all of these houses are repeat houses. Um, they may look like different on the inside, but all, you know, but every house layout is a repeat. So here is this first home. On the outside, yes, it is a repeat. Um, on the outside, it, I mean, like, it looks okay. Um, the doors are not my favorite. You know, in the front, the porch doors, they're not my favorite, but that's my opinion. So, really, in this house, you're, you're not getting much inventory. It's basically items that, that we already have in the game. Um... And I'm really thinking that these architect homes are now just built for brand new players um, who may not have a couple of these items. Like, like that drawer chest is from the Rainforest event. Um, so there's a couple of inventory items then here is the other house. It looks really cute on the outside. Um, you know, you got the trees and the windows. It is a repeat house. I don't remember from when. But on the outside, it looks really cute. So when you go in, you have these two lounge chairs. And then we have a living room. We have some urban items, homestead items, um, and all these plants, of course. And then, and then in the office, we have these brown bookshelves. Um, I don't remember what event they're from, but not everyone has those. So, so if you're a brand new player, this actually might be a good batch for you. It just depends on what you have in your inventory. Um, older players, nothing. And then we have this king size bed up here, and then we have spa items, another bed. And, oh, and also we do have the closet event items. And we have the chalet showers and that robe set. And that's about it for this house. And here we have another repeat house. It, um... It does not look pretty on the outside, and and I don't like it, but that's just my opinion. Um, here is the inside of the house. Um, those couches are from the party house live event, and then we have some chalet items, well, homestead. I think I and French event. Um, the closet event items, spa items, and we have those outdoor stools. So, this is a good house. 
for for um, for a brand new player. We have urban items in this house and some Latin rugs. And I don't know if everyone has the fish. And more spa items. And then in here we have a preteen room. Um, that dresser is from the gingerbread house. And then we have more closet items. And, and then you make your way up the stairs. You have spa items and some closet items and then urban items again. So these are just items that you would have in every architect home. Every architect home has like the same items. The chalet, the, you know, whatnot. Here is this house. I think this house is cute on the in, I mean, on the outside. This house is really cute. The inside it has, is a whole different story. But, I mean, I like what they did with the outside. It looks, you know, looks like a really nice home. So, here are some French event items. Spa items. And, of course, that wedding light. Now we have some garage items. And this long hallway, I cannot stand this whatsoever. That um, that table is from the wedding event. So new players, you're going to eat this up. Um, they, have, they have some not bad inventory if you're a brand new player. Um, again, we have a like, French event items, a lot of the French event items. Um, and we have closet items, um, the chalet shower, I think it is called. And here is this home. This is either the um, the kids party house done as a makeover, or it's the uh, the luxury home that looks like the kids kids party uh, house. It's like where it's exactly the same. Um, for the. Uh, you're just getting the same stuff. Like chalet items. You've got the laundry items. And chalet items. French event items. You have the piano. And also you have that fireplace. And you have that water cooler. Which, which is nice and the aprons and then you have that poolside event uh, table in the hallway I mean really not much up here um, this could be a gold mine for uh, for brand new players but but for older players, I wouldn't even bother. Here is this house right here. On the outside, it looks like a cross between creepy and cute. Um, I do not know why, but it just looks like a cross between haunted and cute. <laughs> if you can say that. Whatever. I need coffee. So, here we have 
No new inventory items up here. Not really anything new except for uh, these count uh, these countertops. I think we're part of the French event items, if I remember correctly. Oh, and these urban look couches were in an online pack, I think. Um, and then, and then that shelf is from the family furnishings event. And then here's the front porch, which is cute. It's cute on the front porch. Um, and then you go up the stairs, you have more French event stuff. And then here you have just a little room and that, and those items are from the, uh, the family furnishings event. And here is a bedroom. Um, not really anything new except for the closet items are from the family furnishings event. So, overall, that's the house. Mm, I give it a four. Here is this house. This is a repeat. Um, in the front, it kind of looks like, I don't know. I want to say a jail, but it's not quite a jail. So... Here we have the uh, the French event items, per usual, and some chalet items, urban items, and villa items. You have the closet items in in, in here. You have spa items. This layout I don't like. But that's my personal opinion. It's it's not my favorite. So, I mean... The house has potential. Well, no, it doesn't. I am talking out of my ass. This house just does not have potential. Um, and then they have that lounge chair, which I believe was available in an online pack. Here is this house. So not cute on the outside. But that's my opinion. Of course, you already know that. Um, these are not meant to bash the houses at all. Um, I'm trying to point out good things as well as the bad. So you got the French event items and homestead items, urban, urban items, um, the villa doors. And we're in the backyard event items. This little porch area is cute. Um, and then we have closet items. And chalet items. We have villa items. And then up here, um, we have an office and a bathroom, um, homestead items, and, and villa items. And that tub, I forgot where that tub is from, 
but but that's this house. I'm not a big fan of the layout. Here is this house. Um, on the outside, it looks really nice. Not like an actual home. It looks like shops. You know, at least to me. But I don't think that's what it is. It has a pool on the outside with the diving board. But in reality, if you dived off the diving board, you would hit your face on the other side of the pool. Um, and chalet items, homestead items. Villa items. God, those silver staircases are awful. You get that gray couch, and then you also get that gray urban couch. So, urban items. There's really... We've had this house before, so there was really no, like, there's really not anything new in these architect homes. Um, I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of the layout. Um, I don't, I I don't know. I don't know. It's just like something weird about the layout. It's not my cup of tea, but you know, but others may enjoy it, which is nice. You know, to each their own. Um, this just is not my favorite. The third floor is interesting because you have to go outside in order to get inside this this music room, it looks like. And then you get to some laundry. So, um, so you have the ironing board here. And... And those... And that pile of clothes is found in the preteen section. Um, so, yeah, there's there's really no new items in this home. Um, you do get that white planter. Here is this home. This looks like the beachside summer home or something like that. Um, we've had this house. I think we have this house. I think, I think if you've unlocked it, I think it was an LP house or something. I just know that it's a repeat of something. So, I can't remember what, but... Why is it staying? So down here we have kind of um, a movie theater. <laughs> That's pretty nice. And you get homestead items. And you get spa items. And pay attention to any small inventory items that, you know, that I may not catch because, because I can't catch everything, obviously. You have those, those brown bookshelves. And, and you have the villa items.
and you have that gray couch in here. Um, this home for uh, for brand new players, this isn't bad. You have some villa items in here. And yeah, I mean, you have a, there's like quite a bit of, of items that would be uh, valuable to, um, to a brand new player if they don't have those items already. So, um, so we're getting near the end of this. There's only like two more houses, I think. Um, and so far, so far, I'm thinking it's a pretty good batch if you're a new, a brand new player. For older players, let's just give up hope. Because they don't have us in mind anymore. So, so on the outside, the house is really cute, but, but I do not like the layout. I think, I think. Well, I don't like it because it's such a huge house. So, that's why I'm like, eh. I'm not a fan. But, but that's just me. It was the house is too big. And here's a bathroom. Two very large bathrooms. Uh, one very large bathroom, one medium size bathroom. Okay then, and this is the last house. This one on the outside I like because um, it reminds me of the main building of my school. So, <laughs> so that's why I like it. Um, it's actually the main building of my school in the Sims version. I believe this was built by Eleazar, um, if I remember. And I did a remodel of this house a while back. This house um, is a repeat. So, so I'm not really gonna go through the inventory because it's all, because because it was all the same um, in this house, I think. Whatever, I can't remember. All right, I'll go over some. So you have the exercise bikes here. And, and we're in the deep, dark basement. How creepy is that? <laughs> I don't know why, like, the basements. I find the basements creepy. I really do. And then, oh, they have a place to get your nails done. Well, that's nice. I wish I had that in my house. Shoot. Um, and then here we have a huge kitchen. We already have a, have those countertops, and a lot of these items we may already have. Well, older players, there's um, but for newer players, there is the French event items all over this house. I'm talking all over. Um, you have, have some office desks, 
that maybe you don't have in your inventory and you have and you have the piano see full of French event items those rugs I believe and now we're going down to the basement because I forgot if I had showed you this part of the basement but if not here it is and then now we're going back upstairs after I'm sure I've shown you that part of, of the house and and you get some arcade games you, um, you get the foosball games and you get the TV. Oh. Sorry, I'm starting to yawn. You know these reviews really take a lot out of you. I think I go. I think I'm gonna take a nap, or maybe just have a coffee. But a nap sounds better. Anyways, I digress. Um. You do have some nice items in here. Um, I'm not sure what this is meant to be. I don't think it's a family home. But, but for a school or a dorm, this is actually the perfect layout. Now, um, this is, um, so the layout on, the, um, on this one is not bad. Um, it makes sense for if you're wanting to do a school or, or maybe even a mall. Well, like this can be remodeled into a mall if you wanted. Um, I am not going to be redoing this house again because I already have, but, um, I, but yeah, this, um, but yeah, this house has a lot of potential, um, to be made over into something really cute. Um, I don't know the point of the the first house I I don't think I showed that first house and then and then here's the last floor so overall I like this one it's cute so that is the end of the architect homes if you're a brand new player, these homes could be very good for you to take a look at. Um, they do have some items in there um, that people may not have. So overall, it's not a bad batch if you're a new player. For older players, We've already seen it all, and we don't get much, but hey, whatever.